So what's the situation? It's this case. It just doesn't sit right. Like, like taking the dump in the woods. About a week ago, she said she had some troubling news, so we booked an appointment. She said someone was stalking her, and she feared sinister intentions, perhaps murder. She kept track of the guy, and this guy was good. Really good. He looked like Kurt Russell if he was a bird and uh, didn't have a beard. I said I'd do anything, anything I could to help her. She was so afraid. I gave her my cell and asked her to call me once every day, but he must have got to her, because she went missing the next day. I needed to find the stalker, and I needed to find the girl, that much was clear started asking around, you know, seeing if anybody saw something unusual in the area. Nothing. Nothing at all. It was tough work. I was up all day and all night, looking at past cases, any leads, and making calls from a phone book. Some nights, I couldn't even sleep. I felt, like, felt like I was going nowhere, absolutely nowhere. It was awful. I felt like a, a duck in a pond. If the duck had a wife, two kids, a job in sales, and an addiction to old age rose wine. So I decided to hit the town. Hopefully, some people would know something. Maybe I'd find more success. So, I decided to have a quick smoke break. Enjoy the scenery. So, I was walking up to this guy, right? He was uh, slightly tall, but shorter than me. And I walked up into him and I said, uh, Hey, have you seen this girl? She's uh, missing. And he was like, uh, no. So I said, uh, well, uh, have you seen this man? Maybe, uh, ring a bell? And he was like, oh, like, you mean that guy over there? And he was like, oh, and he looked over there, and he looked around, and he started running. So I was like, excuse me, can you hold these? And then I started running, and we were both running, and it was, like, super intense, right? And we ran down this alleyway, right? And I was, like, hot on his heels. So then, uh, we kept, we kept running for a bit, and, uh, well, right around uh, five minutes of running, uh, we decided to stop, and uh, he had uh, asthma, so I decided to let this one slip, and I grabbed my phone. I was going to go on Instagram, but then he started running, so I had to put my phone back, and uh, we kept running and running, so uh, we run down this little foresty area because uh, there was running out of places to run, Then we ran into this only foresty area, and then uh, we did a little loop around because then, then we started running the other way. And it was really weird, too, because he did this weird, like, turn, turn, turntables thing on me. It, it was really confusing. So uh, he got away, and then I was really confused by the table. So then I decided to leave it alone and just keep chasing after him. So now we're running to the, uh, the, you know, down this, like, alleyway again. And uh, finally, that's when I got the jump on him and cornered him. I was like, freeze! And he was like, oh man, chill. And I was like, do you know Nora Brown? And he's like, oh no, like if this is about that stalker thing, look, I'm stopped, I didn't do nothing. I was like, you, I didn't believe it. So I was like, you murdered her, didn't you? And he was like, what? I don't know about murder, but I did rob like that Bed Bath & Beyond across the street. And I was like, you disgust me. So I arrested him because I knew that he totally killed her. 
So what happened? Uh, we arrested the guy. But uh, we never found the girl. <sighs> Real shame, too. I wonder what happened to her. Hey, uh, do you guys know if there's a bathroom in here? Uh, yeah, it's uh, down the hall to the left. I'm not very good at my job.